Hi there, welcome to NIST Watch, and this is a series where we'll be talking about various topics ranging from SEO to branding to content marketing, basically anything under the sun that is called digital marketing. I'm Daisy Jane, and today's topic will be how to create websites that have a data-driven web design. So if you haven't really done website redesigning, then you've come to the right place because it can get tough. And I'm here to kind of help you through a journey and try to make things a little easier for you. So rule number one is make analytics your best friend. Using analytics can be so helpful in order to know where your target audience is coming from, what pages they visit the most, what word is searched the most, and even yet, what device they're using to get access to your website. Using analytics can actually really be helpful and you have to know the basics to it. So let's get started. So before I get into the analytics part of it, let me just tell you right here that it's almost criminal not to have a mobile friendly website. Because as you can see from the Morgan Stanley report, the mobile usage now to access website superseded desktops insanely. Basically, what, how, how do you use analytics to figure out which users are coming onto your website or who's using it, which device they're using it? If you look into the analytics correctly, you can see that there's, there'll be a percentage of people accessing your website through mobile, tablets, or desktops. This can actually help you design your website in such a way. For example, let's say if you have more mobile users, right? What you do is you create a website or at least an easy navigation for it. So even people on the go can, see, can use it because you know you have mobile users and mobile users are usually, they don't have that much time or you know, they're just looking for relevant information that's right on their fingertips. Because you know what, it's quite easy to access websites through a cell phone these days. If you study your website's analytics correctly, you can actually figure out where your target audience is entering or exiting your website just by looking at the user flow. This kind of helps in seeing how they navigate through your website, which pages they go into, which pages they leave. You can actually figure out if the content is engaging with that. So let's say if you have, for example, a page that holds important information, you want to make sure that your target audience actually reaches that page. If the navigation is too complicated, then your target audience may not take all those steps to see those pages. Analyze the flow and you'll figure out which pages need to stay and which need to go. How cool or creepy it would be, depending on how you look at it, if you could actually read a person's mind. In terms of websites, you can actually do that. You know, in analytics, there's actually a section called the site search, which will give you what exactly your target audience is searching for. So for example, if they're searching for a price or if you have like a product or service that you're offering and they're looking for the price of that product or service, they're typing in search. But if you've already have that information up front, it'll be much more easier for them. They won't, they won't actually have to take all those steps. You know, they won't actually have to go through all that mental stress trying to figure out where, your web, where in the website you can find the price, because it's right there. So, and even if you don't want to, you know, include that upfront, you can actually design a CTA to generate leads because then they can click on it and they'll know that, you know, you, once they give you that information, they will get the price because that's eventually what they're looking at. So by now, if you're wondering, you know, all you have to do is just jazz up your website and you'll get all those great leads pouring in, well, let me just stop you right here. You might be wrong to some extent because you need great content to actually go effectively with the website. So think of it as a person, you know, good looks can get you so far, but great personality can get you farther. The site's content is your site's personality. Is it funny? Is it engaging? Are people actually bothering to even stop and read or are they just looking at pretty pictures and leaving? The site content section on, in the analytics can actually help you see how much time a user spends on which page and what, how far they scrolled. And judging by the average time spent by the users, you can actually figure out whether the content is engaging or not. If it's not, you might have to, you know, refurbish the content a little bit. Keep in mind that the attention span of the average user isn't too long. 
Try making an infographic if you can to drive home your point. But at the end of the day, remember that content is king. So last but not the least, there is an amazing tool that's gaining popularity and that's called heat maps. Well, it's not written over here, but that's what it basically tells what's hot. What are people clicking onto? What their movement is like? And if you can figure out, you know, where the audience is actually moving on, clicking, where they're going to, how their mouse is scrolling or hovering over which image, you can actually open up a gold mine for lead generation because you know exactly what the audience is thinking. You know exactly where they're going. You know exactly what they're clicking on. And the places that they click on, where and how you can leverage that, that's up to your design team to figure out. So. At the end of the day, you can figure out actually what's hot on your website, where they're clicking. Isn't that what you need? Isn't that what you want to figure out? You can read minds. You can actually follow all these steps and make a pretty decent data-driven web design. Well, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. And you can let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Nesway's YouTube channel. And if you can't wait for more videos, well, you know what? You've got a gold mine of information because you can go onto thisway.com and actually read all the blogs that you know they're ranging from SEO, branding, culture, design, basically anything under the sun called digital marketing. So I'll hope to see you soon and don't forget to write in. See ya.